Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm checking in from a rainy forest of enlightenment. I'm checking in with my yearly mental health video. And I will explain why it's actually a good insight that you can come to realizing that men are worthless until proven otherwise. I will illustrate my point with sharing the following observation. Now, of course, I might be biased here, but uh, bear with me. I think it's a good way to get to the point. So perhaps you've seen mothers praising their infant sons, saying how strong or well-developed they are. And this can come across as a bit annoying. Whereas if a father talks about how cute and beautiful his daughter is, that is endearing. Now why is this, you might wonder. Perhaps you felt the same. Um, and I'm being a bit autistic here, I'm using this as an example to illustrate a point. So if you are a mother, of course you should speak well of your son. But there is a difference here, and that is that a woman, a girl, a female, she has an innate value. A man, a boy, he doesn't. He is worthless until proven otherwise. And a boy definitely hasn't proven himself. So a female has an innate value because she can bring life. A female is biologically more valuable than a man. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that women are better than men. In fact, civilization must be left in the hands of men, otherwise we will have complete and utter chaos. So, yeah, disclaimer there. But when it comes to this particular teaching, we need to keep in mind that women are more valuable, biologically speaking, because they can bring life. So, as a man, you have to find your value, you have to create your value. So, a woman, she is born with an innate value in her, because she can create life. But as a man, as a boy, you have to create that value. Now, you might ask, how do I find this value within me? Yes, it's based on how valuable you are to others. You have to view yourself as a servant to a higher cause. And of course, in primordial term, it's to your tribe. And now in this, here and now, it's to your own side, preferably the side of European civilization, because we are now in a bit of a bad situation um, at the moment. Uh, this is not a video about that, but it's very related, because if you do want something to channel your energy and your your role as a servant into that is a good cause and i am a humble servant this is how i view myself i base my value as a man on how much value i can bring to my side and then of course as a husband and a father as well i am um, i base my value on how useful I can be to them. But I always view myself as a servant, first and foremost. Who do I serve? Yes, a higher purpose, I don't serve myself. And this goes into something else. Uh, a sure way to be miserable is if you, as a man, if you expect the world to cater to your needs and wishes, if you believe the world owes you something, then you will be unhappy. So instead, view it in the sense that what can you do for others, not what can the world do to you because for a woman that might be the case that they have this innate value so therefore they have an easier time but women they have their own struggles to deal with so is it unfair or not it doesn't really matter i'm just giving you a good insight you can bear with you as you transverse life and the world and also i've said this before i'll say it again if you are in a bad situation mentally as a man if you are a bit depressed or you lack aim or you just feel bad with yourself. Instead of focusing on yourself, focus on doing something for others. Be helpful to others and then you will feel a sense of satisfaction within you and then you will be happy and then, yeah, the, the happiness will take you up with it, so to speak. Now, something else I've said before when we're talking about self-improvement, the great alchemical work, is that you're not only doing it for yourself, you're being the best you can be, so you can be of better use to others. So, a uh, simple example, if you're happy and healthy because you sleep well, train well, eat well, then you will be more pleasant to be around. So, viewing it in that way, everything will make a lot more sense. So, you take care of yourself to take care of others. You embark upon a self-improvement journey to be of use to others. That is the correct way to view 
all of this. So those were my thoughts on this rainy November day checking in from Hyperborea. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support. Do check out all links in the description box below. Do read Demigod Mentality and I will see you in the next video. XXO, boom!